Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby, and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. So today I actually learned something. I wanted to try to do my first live video today, but apparently I'm not eligible yet. So this is going to be just a quick little look around at some blooms in the tank, which is what I was going to do live, but um, I'm not going to be able to interact with you like I was hoping. So hopefully in the near future I will be able to do that, but for whatever reason I'm not eligible. So having that said, I've got a lot of blooms in here that I want to look at with you guys real quick and um, it's just a, a, a special little array so let's get the camera off the tripod here and we will go ahead and take a closer look. So I have decided to do this a little differently than I normally do. I have actually pulled all the plants out that I want to show you guys and I have arranged them on my rack here so we can do nothing but look at all the blooms. Our first plant is this Dendrobium Mountain Magic White. We looked at this not too long ago but it is absolutely beautiful and I'm hoping it lasts just as long as the Afanicylum Cuthbertsonii Hybrid Gatan Manette and the Dendrobium Cuthbertsonii Red here. This plant, these two blooms have been on for five or six months and this one on the top just opened so this plant should be in bloom for darn near a whole year when it's all said and done and that is super exciting. I absolutely love these plants. I cannot get enough of them now. I don't have any new growths on this guy yet. Um, maybe it's waiting until some of these blooms fall off and it'll grow down here at first, but I am not sure. I really haven't had it long enough to establish its growth habit. The next plant is the Dendrobium Gaitan Manette, and it is just opening bloom after bloom on these new bloom spikes. We've got lots of buds coming still um, all over the place. So this showy little thing is going to continue to be in bloom, it appears, for quite some time. Awesome little pinkish flowers. They have that little yellow part in the throat, and they are just absolutely beautiful. It grows just like the Cuthbert Sonii. Same condition, same light, same everything. Same setup, same mount, everything. So if you like them, again, the hybrids and the species both are relatively easy growing if you can give them the right conditions. Moving around here to our next plant, this is our Bulbophyllum speciosum, and this thing just continues to impress, it really does. It's opened up another bud here, and if we scan down, we have another one hanging down here at the bottom. It's been open for a couple days, this might be our last day with that bloom, but we do have one, geez, two, three, four more spikes coming on this plant already so it looks like it's going to continue to bloom and produce these awesome little flowers for us. The next plant we're going to take a look at is this. This is our Lepanthes caledictyon and it is just showing off again. All the new light has just provoked it to have so many blooms. Lots of new growth. Again some of the stuff up here is get, was getting a little dark so I had to adjust the light and put a little bit of shade cloth on it but as you can see it is doing really well it's really happy right now and it's producing more blooms and more new growths than ever so I'm gonna go ahead and say that that is a big success so far with the spider farmer light the next plant to the left this is another Lepanthes this is Lepanthes uxoria and it is one of my favorites and it is doing particularly well right now as you can see it's got double and triple blooms on some of its growths, and this is one of your Lepanthes that does like to hide its blooms on the underside of its leaves. So for every one you see right now, there are more that you don't. Some of them present themselves quite nicely on top of the leaf, but again, it is very, very common for these kind of plants to hide their awesome little blooms. Let me see if I can get that in focus better. And that is Lepanthes euxoria. 
The next Lepanthes we'll have a look at is this little guy. This is Lepanthes dominguensis, and it has three blooms on. This is doing much better this year. I um, gave it some new moss. I really did freshen up all my Lepanthes, and so far it's rewarding us with lots of new growth and multiple, multiple blooms all the time. That's a great one. Again, this is a really special, really small Lepanthes. The blooms present themselves well. They hang down on the bottom side of the leaf, so they're almost always visible, but a lot of times there is only one, so to have three is a really special event for me. The next Lepanthes to the left that we'll talk about is this. This is a newer Lepanthes for me, and this is Lepanthes ortegea. I got this thing and it never really missed a beat. It has been blooming ever since. Really, really nice little blooms. Um, I still don't know what they look like to me. I think it's kind of like a little sea turtle or sea creature of some sort, but it really is nice. And I will say the newest growth, look at this thing. This thing is just a mammoth compared to everything else. It's huge. So it seems to be really happy again. Um, and it is doing very, very well. The final plant that we're going to have a look at in today's little bloom tour is, of course, my pride and joy. Well, that did not go as planned. So, my camera cut out again, unfortunately, and I didn't notice until a couple days later when I went to edit this video. So, we do still have some nice blooms on here. I think we've got five right now, but not the seven that we had before a few days ago so unfortunately that is it but this is my pride and joy as i was saying my lepanthes telepagonoflora and it is still blooming beautifully um this is a great species again just like the caldicteon above it they're pretty easy to grow if you're going to get into this genus that one and this one are the two i would really recommend and why not because look how beautiful these are they really really are Anyhow, that's it for that. I'll go ahead and get back to the uh, close out of this video as planned. Alrighty, so I've got everything back where it belongs and we'll just do a quick scan of the tank as I close this video out. Thank you so much as always for watching. I really do appreciate it. My subscriber count has actually jumped a little bit. I want to mention I did start social media pages for Cloud Forest Vibes. So if you want, please check me out on Instagram at Cloud Forest Vibes. And I'm also on Facebook under Cloud Force Vibes. You'll see some pretty familiar images, hopefully, with my profile pics and things like that. That way you should know it's me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really eager to take my channel to the next level. Again, I'd love to be able to share live videos and things like that with you guys. But for whatever reason, YouTube is not letting me do that right now. So my social media and stuff is really just a way to extend my reach a bit and get to more people so I can try to grow this channel and take it in all the directions I really hope to go. Um, for all of you guys who have been with me for a while, thank you so much. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. This is one of the best and most humbling things I've ever done. I love sharing my plants and all this information with you guys and what really, really makes it worth it at the end of the day. It's being able to interact with you guys and um, learn more myself because so many of you guys are such great growers and as much as I can share with you guys, you guys do the same. You guys share so much with me, have such good ideas and um, such amazing plants as well. So thank each and every one of you. Alrighty guys, until next time, thank you so much. Please stay safe and happy growing.